Hey, what's up guys, Jeremy here. We all want to be as efficient as possible, especially with our daily tasks. If I find a faster way to do something, I'll choose this option every single time. So in this video, I'll share with you some of the available shortcuts you can use with RoboDK. There's a bunch of mouse and keyboard shortcuts to explore, but today we'll focus on the mouse shortcut. Without further ado, let's see the first one. I don't know for you guys, but when I'm programming a station, one of the actions I do all the time is bringing the robot back to its own position. Most of the time, I do that just to move the robot away from where I'm currently working. The normal way of doing that is to double click the robot to open the road panel. You can also double click the robot in the tree, by the way, the exact same result. Then you can go to the joint access jog, click home and close the robot panel as it takes space on your screen for no reason in this case. That's cool, but there's a faster way of doing that though. And one that does not include opening the robot panel. If you right click the robot, you can find the option to bring the robot back home directly here without opening the robot panel. It doesn't look like much of a difference, but at the end of the day, all those clicks and mouse travel adds up. Here's a very similar one that I use quite often, especially when I'm working on a pick and place application. Most of the time, when you want to pick an object, you want to be aligned with the reference frame. What I mean by that is having your tool Z axis align with one of the frame axis. In this case, I want the Z axis to be aligned with the negative Z axis of my frame. One of the thing I can do is press Alt and align the axis the best I can. Then double click the robot to bring the robot panel and adjust the orientation values one by one. That takes time and I don't really like it. So if you look here next to the home button, you have the align button that will adjust the orientation values for you. That's already good. It saves a bit of time, but there's better than that. You can access the same option by right clicking the robot and align tool orientation. Again, no need to open the robot panel. That saves time and screen space. One thing we need to be aware though, is that RoboDiki will align with the closest axis of the frame. So if you are like this before using the align feature, the tool won't be aligned with the negative Z, but with this axis instead. Before we continue, if you have any technical questions regarding RoboDK, please visit our online forum. It will be a pleasure to answer you. Link in the description below. Okay, next trick. If you ever worked with a huge RoboDiki station, you will know the pain. You have a lot of stuff in your station, but you would like to know where one object is in your station tree. If you see the object on screen, instead of looking around in your tree, opening every collapsed reference frame or folder, you can simply right click the object in this 3D environment and select reveal in tree. This will automatically bring you to the right section in your tree, even if this section was collapsed. The other way around is also possible. If you have an object in your tree that you would like to focus on, Right click on it and frame on. That will change your 3D view so this object is now on screen. I honestly use those all the time with bigger station. That's a big time saver. Okay, I got two things left for you. First one, quite simple, and many of you might already have found this one by yourself. If I create a new program, you can add a program instruction by simply right clicking and add instruction. It has the same effect as going to the toolbar and adding an instruction, but it has the benefit of saving all the mouse travel. Like I already said, at the end of the day, all those seconds add up. Okay, last mouse shortcut before we leave. If you want to select any object in your station, you can click them one by one by holding control. But did you know that you can also click and drag your mouse to create a selection box? If you click and drag towards the right, it will create a blue box and towards the left, a red box. The blue box will select all objects, frame, targets completely included in the box. And the red one will select all objects, frame and targets touching the box. We can quickly see the difference here. Okay, that's everything for today's video. I hope you liked it. And if you did, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see all the time-saving tips I have for you. In any case, have a great day, guys.